Good day, everybody. It's Max, and welcome to Infraspace the Core. That's right. In this mini series, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building ourselves a city uh, based on the core principle, which I had in my uh, tutorial, general tips and tricks tutorial. Uh, I in that in that tutorial, I uh, demonstrated a circular AOE effect, um, basically core. Uh, by using a single stadium, four parks, uh, and the AOE effect of schools now, uh, we were able to demonstrate packing in a very tight space. Uh, in fact, that core actually holds 3,160 people. Uh, just how you could actually uh, get a, a very highly densely packed, very little traffic, uh, core circle to work and that that's that core circle was built in an old previous save file which of course uh, the latest update series uh, and updates in infraspace kind of destroyed a lot of our saves so I wasn't able to maintain that core in that save file because obviously that file was starting to degrade uh, factories were starting to fail all over the place and it was gonna it was gonna stop working so I decided I was gonna take the core and and do a quick mini series on it and uh, that is what we've got coming up uh, for some episodes here on Infraspace the core so with that first things first we got to get the basics down packed uh, we got to get a little science done we got to get a little concrete made get a little steel made and with that let's lay out some cores Okay, welcome to the core. So in this case, I had been going through uh, different uh, load saves just to see if I could find something to really build decently on. And in this case, this is what I have come up with. I found this particular map and uh, it's got a lot of flat open space and even the hill sections, like, uh, like look at what we got right in front of us. They're not really hilly. They're just got more stone involved, which colors the ground differently. Uh, even the few hill sections uh, aren't very steep. Uh, you know, uh, chances are we can probably get uh, roads up onto them and build on them for factories. Uh, so I'm quite, uh, quite happy with this generation map choice. Uh, I mean, again, there's lots of lots of flat space, even that it doesn't look flat. I mean, it's pretty flat here. Uh, this looks like it's a really, really good map. So with that, of course, we have a few things to do. Um, the first thing you should always do is get up your building of concrete and steel. Now, uh, save you a little time. We're gonna do a quick cut here. I'm gonna get the uh, steel, uh, get the concrete up and running, and uh, we'll do a quick transition cut over, and I'll bring you right back. So you start the game with 20 free people, okay? Which means you don't need any houses, you don't need any buildings of any type, and you get 20 people, right? Uh, we'll just say that they're those 20 people live in the rocket ship that you arrived on forever, right? <laughs> so now obviously, if you watch my tutorial on using the dev tools using F3, you could add more of these free people all you wanted. But of course, that's not what we're playing for. Uh, we have our simple concrete um, assembly down. Of course, uh, concrete should never be attached to any of your other infrastructure, uh, and neither should be your building steel. Uh, so in this case, I'll probably move this half a dozen times. I do all the time. Uh, but this was a good place to start with it here at the very uh, close to the bottom of the map. Uh, you know, uh, this kind of maneuver. Uh, there was a little sulfur here. You know, sand is everywhere. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, this takes 18 people to run, right? So I got two people left. I couldn't put down another miner or another plant or anything without a house at all. Uh, so you can you can usually get two concrete plants running uh, and they'll stay relatively good. Uh, if you try to put a third plant down, you're gonna run short on, on sand. It's just what it is. Uh, these take uh, 12 seconds to run. These take 9.6 seconds. So basically, do a little rounding here. Uh, so you're looking at 10 seconds per factory here, uh, but it takes 12 seconds for one sand, right? So you got you got to have one sand. Uh, so basically, it's it's not an exact three to two ratio, but for the for, we only got 20 free people. So basically it is a three to two ratio because that's the closest you're gonna get. Sulfur is sulfur, it pumps it out like 2.4 seconds. So you can get two, four, six, eight. You need two per factory. 
but uh, because this is doing it at 2.5, so let's say at 10 seconds, say 2.5, so you're getting enough for 10 seconds, which is uh, about 9.6, it's just about right on the money. It's just about right on the money for uh, one of these, for two of these. Uh, so that's, uh, that's how that's working. I have now also put down my first uh, core factor, uh, my core living space. Uh, so in this case, my first core is down uh, using, <laughs> basically only using the concrete, right? We have no research. Uh, no research at all. Uh, so of course, uh, I've got my first pattern down, a first core pattern. Uh, and I'm going to continue to work on uh, putting core patterns down. Uh, one, uh, for spacing, right? Uh, we want to try and fit as many of these things in. Um, and so, you know, the more the merrier, right? Uh, these things are 55 by 55 in, in terms of, uh, of, like, in a square. So, you know, we want to try and squeeze in as much as we can. I think this rock is going to give me a hard time here, though. Uh, coming down this side, right? Because I think that rock's going to clip it. So I'm going to probably have to move this. I'm probably going to have to move this out. Uh, but in this case, I did get my first core down. The issue is, is that um, when we when we go to put this down now versus later. So right now we only have we only have basic technology, right? We only have the atmosphere processor, uh, and it's and it's junk. Right. Uh, one of the first things I like to get rid of is the atmosphere processor. Uh, it's terrible. It's junk. Right. Takes 16 seconds to make one oxygen and one carbon. Uh, whereas here, uh, it takes eight seconds to make one oxygen, or it takes one eight seconds to make one carbon with the uh, actual processors. But they don't come until yellow science. And again. That far away, that's very far away. <laughs> Oops, uh, it's very far away. It's down here, particle filters, which means, uh, right? You got, before you even get into yellow science, uh, of course, you're, you know, you're, you're doing some digging, right? Like uh, yellow science is just not like, you know, four, four, four turns away or anything like that, right? Uh, so the, these are probably the, the big ultimate goal to make these work. Uh, but obviously, to get to that ultimate goal, we will need, we're going to need a few things. And so this is going to change a few times. Uh, and of course, that's, I mean, that's just the way it is. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll definitely uh, have the pattern started. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, putting more core patterns down. And uh, once I, uh, once I get uh, towards the uh, towards filling this space up, uh, then we have to kind of look at okay, you know, x amount of cores. Uh, you know, you can fit x amount of people in a core. What's that? What's that going to give us here in the end? So with that, I got some uh, I got some planting to do, planting down to do. <laughs> I got I got I got things to do. I will go see you shortly. All right, so I'm making a little progress on creating the actual patterns for the cores. Now I thought this would be a good time to bring it back. Uh, just to talk about the, the basics of each core. Now, obviously the center of a core has the stadium. Now the stadium is a nine by 11 uh, rectangle. And because of that, obviously, we're a little off center with the, with the arms. So uh, the measurements are for an, uh, your center is nine by 11. And on the nine sides, your arms are gonna be six, 10 threes. And on the 11 sides, they're going to be six ten twos. Now, obviously, the twos, uh, uh, because you're losing one row on each side of uh, the twos, this gives you two extra rows for the middle, which of course is the nine by eleven, and that is your actual core of the core. And then, of course, we start adding the additional roads. Uh, the nine sides, the road goes right down the middle, but on the 11 sides, it's a 6-4 split. Okay. And then, of course, there's even a little added more here. Now, this is still not finished. Uh, and you'll notice, like, there's, it's, it looks a little off, right? So, like, this side has uh, is sixes. These are by fours. Uh, and, and that's just the way the design works out. Uh, also, these do not join into these. Uh, they will not join properly, so it's better just to end them as dead-end roads than to try and force a join on there because it just doesn't work out well. Uh, now, the other thing I've done is that I've 
with a, I've got 10,000 concrete. Now, that's not nearly enough, let me tell you. Uh, so we're still making a little concrete, but you notice I've gotten rid of one of the plants and a couple of the miners. Um, and that's just because, now this is gonna make this plant inefficient, but that's fine, doesn't matter. Uh, I have it actually cut back to 66%. So you'll notice it's only got a two out of three population going on in here, uh, which uh, is gonna cut all this back to make it just fine. Okay, because I needed <laughs> I needed to borrow some people uh, to actually do this. Now this, of course, is blue science. Yeah, this this is blue science right there. Look at that. Um, and of course, we need <laughs> so I need this to make me some blue science. Uh, yes, you you do that. That's thirty science. Uh, and now what we want to do is we want to extend this road just enough. Uh, to put in the sciencey thing, uh, the science lab itself, right? So if we stick that in there like so, uh, we should get some science delivery. And so <laughs> our little rinky-dink blue science setup is going to handle our farming request. Then we're going straight for steel, like st steel production because, of course, that's the other big building material we need down the road. Um, and uh, uh, that's that's where we got to push towards. So we want to get farming running because then at least that allows me to set up the basics, uh, the basic cores with uh, residential zones, the uh, you know the housing zones, the initial um, atmospheric processors. Though we'll replace them all with oxygen processors later. Uh, this will allow me to put in all the oxygen processors and your simple firm. And uh, of course. Once that's done, you're, you're, you're good, right? Um, you know, like stadiums, schools, the parks, all that stuff coming later, that's great. But we aren't going to have any of that until we do all the cores and get them all filled out. Uh, so we needed to have the simple farm. We needed to at least have the atmospheric processors, which you get already. And we need building steel because sooner or later, uh, this is all, all these roads have to upgrade. Uh, we got to connect them all together. There's a, a bunch of stuff that has to happen. So we have simple farm, yay for us. Give me steel production, please. And I believe you have just enough, enough of that little bit of science there. Yeah, you should send them little blue trucks over there and give me some, some steel. That'd be awesome. I really, I really appreciate that. Again, one of the things I really wish the game had was the ability to turn buildings off right just turn them off right if i turn the building off then these people don't need to go to work here today and i can send them people to somewhere else but instead i gotta blow these buildings up okay uh which of course i'm not going to do i, I don't want to waste i don't want to waste the uh the blue science in there right so of course i'm gonna i'm gonna take that 15 that 15 blue science and, and might as well fill it out Right? I mean, it's amazing how this one little plant is doing all the things while I'm actually working away behind the scenes. So I might as well, I might as well at least uh, crank out the rest of the blue science while it's kind of just mumbling away in the background. Then I'll, then I'll destroy it, right? Because um, I won't need it anymore. Uh, because I'm not, I'm not going to be running home appliances anytime soon. Uh, and yes, aluminum mining is blue science, I guess. Large buildings is blue science. Um, you, you know, w which allows us to get parks. But again, it just, it's, it's a waste of people just having these people sit around, right? It's, it's just a waste of people, them sitting here. So <laughs> it's unfortunate, uh, because now I got to destroy that now, right? I have to destroy this now so as we don't make any more science, right? Um, you know, just throw that, just throw that away, right? And now... I will go build off a little steel somewhere, probably using this same road, because steel, of course, takes uh, takes a little iron, and uh, keep working on my cores. So with that, I'm going to bring it back once we got a little more done. So we're moving forward ever so slowly, and uh, so while I've been building out cores, uh, we let the steel mill uh, build up for a while, and it built a, you know, I let it build up about 25, 2600 steel, and then I tore it down, and put in green science. Uh, so in this case, I have one blue science building, which feeds one green science building. This one core here is making all the carbon. Uh, I got I got one electronics factory, right? Because you need electronics for green science. 
and I've got this all balanced out for 20 workers. Now it says you need 31 jobs uh, to make this work, right? Uh, you know, between having one sulfur miner, one uh, one copper miner, uh, and uh, you know, one iron miner, and all the things, it, it thinks you need 31 people, but you don't actually uh you, you notice there are no red numbers here that's right you just need 20 you need 20 people all right uh so we've got 20 people uh making green science now i really wish i could pull off i could pull this off to make yellow science too because if i got if i could get if i could just get the oxygen and carbon processors uh, that would make what I have to do next uh, so, so much better. Uh, but let's have a look at the core progress. Uh, we have cores, all kinds of cores, tons of cores. Uh, in fact, there are 21 cores. Yeah. Uh, turns out 21 cores, uh, each core can hold 3,000. Now, if these are fully, fully level six upgraded, uh, and this says not enough workers, that's a lie. I, and we already know it. Uh, so we got 21 cores. Each core holds 3,160 people. Now that's at level six. I don't know if I'll be able to get these cores to level six um, because level six will require VR education. Uh, and that's an inside joke here. So uh, viewers of the channel know it. Uh, so <laughs> VR education uh, is a level six core thing, right? And I mean, it, it's massive. Uh, BR, BR Entertainment is a massive build. Um, so I guess I'm pushing for level five buildings at the moment in the 21 cores. And that means that's 2,800 per core, uh, which would give me uh, 59,000, uh, 59,200 people in total if I can get all 21 cores to be level five. Uh, now, that's some resource, right? Uh, I mean, you know, that's, that's some numbers, right? Uh, let's, you know, let's, you know, let's not kid ourselves there. Um, and, uh, you know, we're gonna have to use these hills and valleys and all these things, uh, every little bit, every bit of little room in here uh, to make everything. Now, um, some of the uh, a fair amount of the cores have space in them for food supplies things like that that's what i'm kind of doing here um these will have spaces for uh like food production uh so like for example i may be able to put food production in here and have it shared between uh like these five buildings here uh five cores uh food production over here i may be able to share this between these four and plus this one half here um i have five six Seven, like I have multiple cores up here. I have no idea what I'm going to do for food for these guys. I really don't have a good plan yet. Uh, obviously, I can try to put three food processing here uh, in, into these cores and put food processing up here to feed back down into these cores. It's all going to get really tight. It's all going to get really tight. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, but to end this first episode off, uh, we, of course, uh, have now at least got down the core pattern and uh, like I said there's 21 in total right 20 plus two two halves <laughs> for 21 and it's it's a start uh, it's a start uh, that that's my re reminder number there 3168 uh, of how many uh, a level six core will hold uh, so in this case what I'm doing I'm just literally letting science run as as, as it can um, uh, I'm just going to let this sit in the uh, sidelines for a while, and uh, now that I have uh, some four-lane roads, I may start doing some upgrading of things. Uh, of course, uh, I do need to get all these cores upgraded to four-lane concrete road. Uh, obviously, we have highway roads at the moment. Um, I'm not worried about six-lane roads at the moment. It's not important for my science, uh, and highways, of course, are important just to move product around. Uh, but in this case, uh, right now, my big focus here is the concrete road, four lane. Uh, it's what we need to uh, upgrade all the cores to what it is they need to have uh, to function. And then uh, we're going to let some, I'm just going to let some science build out. And hopefully 
uh, <laughs> crossing fingers and toes and a few other things. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe what I'll do is I will, because uh, I, I mean, you know, I, I don't know how I pull this off, but maybe I could try to stash up enough blue and green science somehow, uh, because I would need well. I would need at least, uh, what's that, 60? I think that's 60. Well, I, I need to get yellow science. Well, yellow science is done, I think. Uh, do, 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 do. I was pretty sure I did yellow science somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I can't, I can't remember what I've got done. Uh, but we need to get yellow science done. And then, oh, there's yellow science there, right? Uh, so that's that's going to be a little miss because you have to do carbon nanotubes first. Um, somehow, I'd have to gather up enough blue and green science stashed up somehow, right? Like, I mean, I could put down, I, 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 I guess what I could do is I could put down a bunch of blue and green science buildings and just let them stash up. And then, um, I, I, I don't know, try and shuffle the unemployment uh, numbers all around and shove it all into yellow science somehow. I really don't know how I'm going to make that work. Uh, but I'm going to try at least get particle filters because if I can get particle filters, we are we are underway. Uh, so with that, I'm Max. This is uh, Infraspace, the core, uh, and we are <laughs> we're definitely ready to go. Uh, yes, I do have to upgrade the roads on these, uh, but we're gonna we're ready to go. We're gonna try and we're gonna try and squeeze this science out of these out of these 20 people. These 20 people, boy, they're working some hard, let me tell you. Uh, we're going to squeeze them out. We're going to get some science, and I am going to see you on the next one. Take care.